Hi, Joyce. Come in, dear. I'll be with you in a minute. Hang up your apron, Donna. Let's be on our way. The store's open at 9 o'clock. Well, this will take only a minute. Oh, why don't you leave the dishes? I did. Doesn't it depress you to know that you'll have to face them later? Not me. I believe in never doing the unpleasant today if you can possibly postpone it till tomorrow. <laughs> because in the meantime, someone might do it for you. <laughs> elves? Yes, elves. Or maybe Harry just might notice the dirty dishes and do them for me. Or one of the kids. Or what's more likely, the house might get struck by lightning and burn down. Then I wouldn't have to do the dishes. <laughs> well, I don't mind doing a few dishes, especially when I'm going out for the day. Remember when the kids were younger, what we had to go through to arrange a day in town? Remember? It took weeks of planning. And it wasn't so long ago. My liberation came when Steffi got her driver's license. And I got out of the children picked up and delivered business. <laughs> Steffi drives. Certainly. Doesn't marry? Uh, no, but fortunately, Stanley does. Who's Stanley? Well, he's an opinionated bore, but Mary finds him fascinating. Girls do have strange tastes these days, don't they? Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. He's a very good driver, and uh, he takes Mary wherever she wants to go. Oh, hello, Mrs. Adams. Mary? Mary, you're going to be late for school, dear. Oh, no, I won't, Mother. I have plenty of time. Uh, Mother, could I ask a favor of you? Uh, it all depends, dear. Could you drive me over to Jennifer's after school? <laughs> what happened to Stanley? Oh, please don't even mention his name. Uh, don't tell me you two are broken up. Mother, let's not even talk about it. He's just a terrible bore. Oh, Mary, let's not jump to any hasty conclusions about Stanley. In uh, certain ways, he's uh, very fascinating. Oh, well, we can come home early, Donna. Uh, no, wait, wait. Um, Mary, couldn't you get a ride over to Jennifer's with some of your other friends? I'm sorry if I'm spoiling your day, Mother. You're not, darling, but uh, uh, there must be some other way. Uh, what about Scotty? Baseball practice. I only have Scotty on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Oh. Well... I suppose I could walk over to Jennifer's. It's, it's only about five or six blocks, but I, I have to pick up the cheerleading costumes and, and take them over for alterations to Mrs. Jarvis, and then from there I have to go to my dentist appointment at four o'clock. I see your problem. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Mother, but I, I am stuck. I, I couldn't carry the costumes on the bus, and, and besides, I'd never make it to my dentist appointment on time. Well, I'll pick you up at school at three o'clock. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. Do the same for you someday. Uh, uh, Mary? Yes, Mother? Would you like to learn to drive a car? <laughs> drive a car? I... Oh. Mother, if I knew how to drive a car, how could I ask boys to take me places? <laughs> Bye.